I'm not a Marvel character. I'm not the last airbender. I'm this guy. <laughs> and if you like poetry, subscribe to this channel because that's all we do around here. Enjoy. What's going on, y'all, man? Welcome back to the poetry channel, you feel me? This is poetry based, all about poetry, you feel me? Poetry channel. You know, subscribe to the channel if you're new, turn on notifications, bro. If you dig poetry. Now, I've been very tired. I posted a video on my main channel. Didn't know if I was going to post it on this channel. Basically talking about somewhat of a life update, you feel me? But it gave me an idea for the poetry channel. And that's, you know, main reason we're here with this. And, like, not, not too many people talk about, you know, this kind of things with in poetry. And today's topic and what I'm trying to talk about is, you feel me, how to find your aesthetic when writing poetry. Now, 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 I'm going to have up the definition of what an aesthetic means, finding your vibe, finding something you like. Basically, you know, it's all in a, it's all in the same loop. You feel me, dog? It's all in the same loop. And... Basically, also, when you're trying to find your aesthetic or find something that you like, you're basically, when finding your aesthetic, you have to go out your comfort zone. So with me on my main channel, if you uh, do go watch that video, it's me talking about how I went out of my comfort zone and certain things like music, in terms of clothing, cars, things of that nature, brands, and... When in poetry, I wouldn't know how how you would tackle it, but you know I'm still about to bring y'all this video on how I think you should tackle that. You know, finding your aesthetic with in poetry is how how I see it in my mind and the way it makes the most sense to me is simply by first you gotta find what makes you uncomfortable, right? What is something hard for you to talk about? What is something that you haven't really talked about? What what is something that you had no thoughts on talking about until you you were trying to discover some new shit that you like? You feel me? So for for this video, I'm gonna say one thing that I didn't do right months and months ago. I didn't do this at all, and it was uncomfortable to me. This is one thing, even though it's something light to many others. To me, it was really uncomfortable. Which was music, right? All right. So, music, you know, people get a, a easier sense with because when you listen to music, you have happy vibe, you have sad vibe, you know, you can have a mellow vibe. You feel me? It's all about the vibe. When finding your aesthetic, you you're normally you're listening to different genres. You're listening to different artists. You're listening to people that you've never heard of before. These are people that you wouldn't even think about listening to because you listen to the same few artists every day. That was me. I listened to the same few artists. Most of my, my favorite artists are dead. You feel me? I would listen to Juice World. Feel me? I listen to me some Trippy Red, some, uh, what? Who else? Who else? Who the, hold on, hold on. Young Thug, The Kid Loray, Boy Quavo, Migos. I don't listen to NBA young boy like that. Here we go. Ian Dior. You feel me? Little Skies. Those are some of those are some of the people I would listen to. And those are the people I was comfortable with listening to. Those are the artists, the rappers, or whatever, you know, the case may be, is those are who I was comfortable with listening to. Now, the past few past few weeks actually when I've been listening to other artists and listening to other things I'm not about to hold you I have not listened to any type of country music but if you were to play a country song in, in, in front of me I, I, I'd be cool it, it depends on what I'm hearing though it depends on what's coming to my ears you feel me in terms of all the genres I haven't listened to really hip, hip hop and, and too much rap Lately, I've been listening to rap, actually. 
I have been listening to rap, but I've been listening to underrated artists. If I could think of their names off the top of my head, I would say it in the video. But I've been listening to people that's just, I like, nobody will give you a chance for real. I'm so used to the somewhat mainstream names, so I'm so used to the people that's popping. Like, Drake, he just drops. His songs go fire. They're fire. For the few songs that he dropped, they are fire. But that was just me. And me listening to these songs, I can put it into my poetry because that's something that made me feel uncomfortable that now I can express and I'm somewhat comfortable with. I don't mind it. I don't, I don't really care anymore because I'm listening to new artists. Uh, somewhat, it somewhat gives me a, a feeling of, of a new experience, like something I've never experienced before, uh, something I've never felt before. And that's a new vibe. Taking that within poetry, you could put that within a poem. You are experiencing something you've never felt before. You're experiencing something that you weren't comfortable with that you took the chance on and either it paid off or you found out that you didn't like it. I feel like finding your aesthetic goes with all of those things with music, clothing, what's the name, what people do on a regular basis, brand names, food, shit like that. You're just finding shit to get out the comfort zone. Well, get out of your comfort zone because that's what it's about. It's about evolving. And earlier today, I'm not about to hold you. I was a little upset. I was a little upset. I'm not about to hold you. But I, I got to accept it for what it is. I am evolving. I, I'm, I'm learning new shit about myself every day. I'm learning shit about myself that I thought I never liked. I'm learning shit about myself that, you feel me? I'm learning shit that I would have never did. And I think anybody could put that within to poetry. You feel me? Anybody could put that into poetry. If you just take the time to really think about some shit that makes you uncomfortable, think about something that may throw your vibe off that you may not like as of right now, but you'll grow to like it soon. That's, that's what I can say for it. And for... For the honorable mention, since this video isn't supposed to be that long, I'm just saying this is something to think about when writing poetry. Get out your comfort zone. But for for the foreseeable, you feel me, until my poetry channel is popping, I'm thinking about posting like my poetry videos up on my main channel. So this video will go live on Monday at 2.15. But it's going to already be up on my main channel. You feel me? But take care of yourself, man. Some videos up on the screen. Shit like that. Till next time, bro. Peace. Hey, you. Yeah, you. You made it to the end of the video. Give yourself a round of applause. If you haven't subscribed yet, are you sure about that? what are you waiting on? There will be a video on the screen. You should click on that and keep enjoying my content. Well, till next time. Peace.